How's it going? Hey, Come Alex on. Jones, how you doing? Good to see you, man. You're looking sexy. All right. Hey, how's the revolution going? You guys starting the revolution? Such a disgrace of journalism. I have never seen such a disgrace from such a cock as Alex Jones. His right wing, ignorant, conspiratorial, nonsense, fundamentalist, cock nature is toxic to the American people. You ever wonder why I never look to Infowar for credible information? If you've ever wondered why I've never looked towards this shit for information once in my life, why I always dismiss them and laugh them off as if they're nothing, as if they're a joke, a comedy sketch, a article lifted straight out of the fucking onion, only it's real. It is because of disrespectful attitudes like this. All right, well, I gotta tell you, I am really, really proud to be here with you. It's good to meet you in person. I don't think How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing okay. You like all our Hillary for prison shirts everywhere? No, I, I kind of despise it. <laughs> <laughs> what shirts are they? I haven't seen any of them. You haven't seen, oh my God, you didn't see me? I don't exist if you didn't see me. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> all right. I consider myself an amateur citizen journalist. I report on information that I feel is important. If I feel there's bullshit, I say it. I say there's bullshit. I call it out. Just like Walter Cronkite, David Frost, Jane Kuger, and Kyle Glinsky. They call out bullshit. I always knew Alex Jones was a joke. I always knew how much of a cuck he was. How full of the lulls he was when he went on his rambling, incoherent nonsense. With the whole future of humanity laid out before us, unlimited life extension, not for our children, for us. Advanced technology, space travel, interdimensional, it's all ours. The eye's not seen, ear not heard, but God has in store with us. But first, we have to get past the devil who stands at the gate of Valhalla. Get behind me, Satan! Out of the way! Humanity's coming through! About the Illuminati and lizard people and every other fucking quote-unquote argument these bastards have made. These motherfuckers tried to make a case that Michelle Obama was a transsexual. Arms, everything. She always has this pooch like she's wearing either a codpiece or has genitalia. Okay? Now... She looks like a man. Like, dude looks like a lady. Lady looks like a dude. And this is a funny cartoonist, Ben Garrison, who they're always calling racist and bad. And, I mean, I'm sorry. It's true. It's a giant viral video phenomenon for like eight years that she's a man. All I know is Obama was raised by a training in Indonesia. They're into all sorts of stuff. That's not even true. Oh, well, the broad shoulder, the broad shoulders. Uh, Luke, Michelle has broad shoulders. Uh, uh, it's, it's a man. It's a 20. It's a 20. Uh, uh, where the fuck did you get your fucking degree? What funding did you use to get your network? Can I have it, Alex? Come on. Alex, give me InfoWars. Please, give me InfoWars right the fuck now. I'll take it from you. And I'll reform it into what it's supposed to be. Exposing the Patriot Act. Exposing NSA's spying. Exposing right-wing fear-mongering propaganda like you. Exposing a piece of shit that does not know the definition of the word respect. And they're alive. On you. Point them out. They're right here to the left. There's chinks. 
We're at right there. Stay ahead. Do do not interrupt another fellow member of the press for your own personal gain. The only person that does that is a fucking child. A fucking crybaby cuck. Who can't stand to hear people call out on their bullshit. You can't stand it, can you? And you just interrupted Jen Kuger. I'm surprised security didn't have the ball just take you away right there. But if you look at that clip, and I love the Alex Jones cocksucker defending him. So like, well, oh my god, they showed Jenk is irrational and unreasonable. When you're provoked by such an amateur, by such a fool, by such a moron, by such a fucking by such a disrespectful piece of shit that disgraces the name of journalism, disgraces the very field of reporting, and disgraces every last thing in the field of communications. Everything this bastard has done is laughable. Alex Jones has no credibility, because if he did, he would have been a man. And asked Jenk if he could come on the show and have a discussion like men. And they're black. Point them out. They're right here to the left. There's a chink. We're at right there. Like, like civilized men. Men of the press. Men of the press act like gentlemen. They treat each other as equals. Regardless of whether you agree or not. Because that is what you're supposed to do. You have violated this unwritten sacred rule, Jones. By your foolishness. The most disgraceful thing. Is that people are insulting Anna and Jenk. For attacking Jones. You can see when Jenk loses his shit. Right here. Nobody we watches you. We know nobody guys. watches you. We you need Saudi Arabia is our funding enough. You're a little jihad. Hey, first of all, let me explain something, all right? Okay, this is bullshit. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're against Saudi Arabia, you dumbass. We talk about that all the time. We talk about that all the time. You don't know shit. What do you think? The lizard people are in charge? No. Is that what you think? I'm going to play that in slow motion for you, right? Here, we're going to repeat what Alex Jones just fucking said. Now, ignore your bias for a minute. Ignore your fucking bullshit. Ignore your Alex Jones fanboyism for a second. And let me ask you something on a human level. If you have been with this co-host for years, for nearly a decade, you have seen this co-host of yours rise up and become someone you greatly respect and admire to no end. Someone you've essentially watched over as though they were a little sister to you. As they were your best friend. And then, some meathead man-child comes in and calls your friend, your fellow co-worker, a jihadist on your fucking platform? And you're telling me you're not gonna fucking lose it. And you're full of shit. Because anyone that has any amount of loyalty for their co-workers and their friends would lose it. It's not a matter of professionalism. Jenk was the one acting professional until Alex decided to just nudge him a little further. He's like, hey, janky boy, you fucking Turkish piece of shit. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, guy. I'm gonna get you, janky. I'm gonna get you. Come on. Come on. You little girl. He's a jihadist, right? And he's like, fuck you, motherfucker. You wanna fight me? The only thing I regret Jenk not doing is calling security immediately after he interrupted him. That was the only mistake he made. The only mistake Jenk made was trying to treat him with some respect. Was trying to humor him. 
That was the only mistake he made. Hopefully Jank can sue this cunt. You know what, Jank? After this convention? Sue him. Press charges on Jones. We're gonna do this little thing called back to back, right? You conservative Milo Yiannopoulos, Alex Jones loving morons. We're so furious when Chicago Black Lives Matter activists disrupted his presentation. Hello, darling. S sir, please, Do you need some sir. Help? Sir, please. Do you need some help? Sir, please. We'd like to ask you to please. Sir, please. Can we ask you to stop, please? Sir. Sir. Disgusted, right? Why? Because they were not civilized. Because they did not follow the correct code of conduct in this regard. Like Alex Jones, those Chicago Black Lives Matter activists acted like children in your opinion, correct? How is this different? Let's come sit in your lap. Oh, Jesus. Oh, how's Jesus it going? Christ. Hey, come Alex on. Jones, how Good are you doing? Good to see you, man. You're looking sexy. All right. Hey, how's the revolution going? You guys starting the revolution? We are indeed, Alex. Uh, the revolution is afoot. Um, welcome to the Young Turks. You know what's wrong with America is not? <laughs> uh, I am going to restore American democracy along with progressives and conservatives in this country. All right. Well, I got to tell you. I am really, really proud to be here with you. It's good to meet you in person. I don't think that's... How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing okay. You like all our Hillary for prison shirts everywhere? No, I, I kind of despise it. <laughs> what, what shirts are they? I haven't seen any of them. You haven't seen... Oh, my God. You didn't see me? I don't exist if you didn't see me. I'm not... Uh, all right, guys. Okay. Uh, here, Look at this. I got a new shirt for you right here. It's rape. It's Bill Clinton that says rape. Oh my God, hide that immediately. That's the big no, no, no. that Roger Stone's band All right, on. you want to take show my show over? I'll take your show sure, over. Go ahead. Okay, you know what? who does this kind of shirt? First of all, a sick guy. Second of all, Bill you, not know, a rapist, you, you know, you, you, you know who, you know who's accused in Get court papers. Come on. You know who's accused in court rape papers of being a rapist? I Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump. By Donald Trump, Trump Roger Stone. Yeah. You know that. Nice. It's in court papers. Oh yeah. And you're a sick dude, Roger Stone. Hey, I want to rant off with you right now. When a 40-something-year-old man who owns his own fucking network acts like a petulant little child. No, no, that's an insult to petulant children. What you did, Mr. Jones, was as bad, was as laughable, was as disgraceful as Triglypuff. It was as bad as fucking Trigglypuff. You are the conservative cuck Trigglypuff. And you do not deserve the title of journalist. You do not deserve the privilege. You do not deserve the privilege of being a member of the fucking press. Did you think that the Nostalgia Critic AVGN fight was a real thing. Let me show you what you think is reality. What are you raising a barn? Shut the fucking door. With the 
those two probably, right? Now let me show you the actual reality. And I am still suffering from many of those bruises. Please welcome James Rolf. How are you, sir? Pretty good. Not bad, yeah. not bad. Um, I am going to start with the number one question that I get all the time uh, about you. Do we really hate each other? Do we really hate each That's other? That's like the number one question I always get, even though I thought we made it pretty clear. You know, I mean, yeah, they're always I, still like, yeah, do you hate each other, starring in each other's we videos? We loathe each I, other. I thought it was pretty obvious that, you know, I can't stand you, right down to we're wearing opposite oh. colors and everything. Oh, yeah, you got me in lumberjack outfit here. Uh, uh, no, do people really ask that? They do. That's yeah. a, there was a Notice. How I would consider Doug Walker and James Rolfe members of the press in their own right. They review movies. They own their own network. And yet, Doug Walker and James Rolfe are 80 times the man that you are. When it comes to manhood, when it comes to respect, when it comes to decency, you are at a negative 100. You are below me, Mr. Jones. You are below me. I am fucking better than you. I am better than you. In every fucking way. Because I do not insult members of the press. If Milo Yiannopoulos came to my YouTube channel, I would treat him with respect. Hell! If you came, to my channel, Alex, I would treat you with respect because that is what a member of the press does to another member of the press. Live long and prosper, and have a nice day. Mm.